the number line will be mentioned throughout the video as a way of reminding you how to handle positive and negative numbers. This is an important topic to know, and sometimes students have problems with it. First, let's understand numbers. All the numbers that you have used so far in mathematics to compute operations and solve problems are called real numbers. A real number could be any number, fraction or decimal. For example, all of the following are real numbers. Repeating decimals, fractions, roots, remember roots are called radicals, special numbers such as pi, decimals, positive and negative integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers. The following flowchart will help you understand this better. Real numbers are divided into irrational numbers and rational numbers. Rational numbers, in turn, are split further into fractions and integers, while integers can be negative and positive. Beyond this, positive numbers are called whole if they include zero, and natural if they do not. Irrational numbers are non-repeating decimals. Irrational numbers are those numbers that cannot be written as a ratio of two integers. For example, the following are irrational numbers. Square root 2, pi, the square root of 10, the square root of 500. Now, a number is rational if it can be written as a ratio of two integers, a fraction. For example, the following are rational numbers. 1 over 3, 2 over 1 or 2, 3 over 4, 17 over 4, 10.3. Repeating decimals such as 1 over 3 equals 0 0.33333 forever and 5 over 11 equals 0 0.4545 45 forever, and square root of perfect squares such as square root of 4, square root of 9, square root of 25 are also rational numbers. However, rational numbers not written as a ratio are called integers. Integers can be positive or negative. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and they include 0. Integers can be best understood by the use of the number line. Number lines have a 0 in the middle, negative numbers to the left and positive numbers to the right. To use the number line to find answers, start at 0 and then move left and right according to whether the expression represents an addition or subtraction. Where the last operation lands, it gives the answer. For example, evaluate negative 3 plus 5 plus 7 minus 9 plus 4 minus 6 plus 2 plus 8 minus 15. Starting at 0, move 3 to the left because it is negative 3. 5 to the right, 7 right, 9 left, 4 right, 6 left, 2 right, 8 right, 15 left, the answer is negative 7. Another example, evaluate 8 plus 3 minus 6 minus 12 plus 5 minus 2. Starting at 0, move 8 to the right. 3 to the right, again, 6 to the left, 12 to the left, 5 right, 2 left. The answer is negative 4. From the use of the number line, we learn that adding two positive integers gives a positive answer. 45 plus 15 equals 60. Also from the number line, we learn that adding two negative integers gives a negative answer. Negative 20 plus negative 13 equals negative 33. 
and adding a negative and a positive number gives an answer that could be either positive or negative, depending on whether the larger number is positive or negative. Positive 14 plus negative 8 equals 6. Positive 12 plus negative 19 equals negative 7. What we just did is called algebraic addition. Notice that we are always adding, except that when you add a positive and a negative number, you're actually subtracting. Nevertheless, it is called algebraic addition. Now, if we have algebraic addition, we should also have algebraic subtraction. Algebraic subtraction involves taking away. Taking away a positive number. For example, I have $15 in my pockets and take away 8 to buy lunch. Positive 15 minus positive 8 equals $7 left. Now let's try taking away a negative number. For example, I have $25 left after paying $10. If the payment is returned, 25 minus negative 10 equals 35. Let's try a variation of the same problem. I borrow to buy $25 in groceries. If $10 are returned, negative 25 minus negative 10 equals negative 15. Notice that because there is a benefit from taking away a negative, the result of negative times negative is positive. Let's try another example. Joey owes $20 to Ricky and $18 to Maria. If Maria forgives the debt, then he only owes $20. The equations to show this are negative 20, negative 18 equals negative 38. $38 is what he owes. If one debt is forgiven, take away the negative. Negative 38 minus negative 18 equals negative 38 plus 18 equals negative 20. Let's try now a more complicated example, where addition and subtraction, positive and negative numbers, all get combined at the same time. In this example, 8 is added to 10, and then 3 is subtracted, negative 5 is added, 7 is subtracted, and negative 6 is subtracted, and so on. This shows we can add negative numbers, plus negative 5, subtract positive numbers, minus positive 7, subtract negative numbers, minus negative 6, and so on. Sounds confusing? Let's break it down. Start by adding 8 and 10 to get 18, and taking 3 away is 15. So far, so good. Next, add negative 5 to 15 and it goes down to 10. Adding bad to good makes it go down. Next, subtract positive 7 and go down to 3. This time, taking good away makes it go down. Next, subtract negative 6 and go up to 9. Taking bad away makes it good and goes up. At this point, having a parenthesis is the same as not having one. Ignore it and continue. Next, add negative 12 and go down beyond 0 to negative 3 the negative side of the number line. Next, subtract positive 14 and go down to negative 17. Taking good away makes it go down further. To finish, subtract negative 9 and go up to negative 8. Taking bad away makes it go up. By now we realize that having two signs together is confusing. Therefore, we'll take a shortcut by converting all double signs into one. Using the following example, we remove double signs and all parentheses, leaving only numbers and one sign between numbers, using the following rules. If the signs are the same, turn both signs into one positive sign. If the signs are different, turn both signs into one negative sign. Same, positive. Different, negative. So the expression with only one sign in between becomes negative 12 
plus 9, 2 of the same, positive 14, minus 7, 2 different, negative 11, 2 different, negative 8, plus 5, 2 of the same, positive 16, 2 different, negative 2. Find the answer by moving right and left on the number line. Starting at 0, to the left, 12, to the right, 9, to the right, 14, to the left, 7, to the left, 11, to the left, 8, to the right, 5, to the right, 16, to the left, 2, stopping at 4. Now, if the operations involve multiplication and division, the rules just mentioned still apply. Signs are the same, turn to one positive sign. Signs are different, turn into one negative sign. Remember, multiplication is indicated with an X, dot, or parentheses, like in 3 times 4 equals 12. Division is indicated with a slash, fraction line, or division sign. These following examples will cover any combination you may encounter in handling positive and negative numbers in multiplication and division. 9 times 8 equals 72. Same signs, positive. 12, notice the dot, times negative 3 equals negative 36. Different signs, negative. Negative 4 times negative 7 equals positive 28. Same signs, positive. 8 times negative 5 equals negative 40. Different signs, negative. Negative 12 divided by 4 equals negative 3. Different signs, negative. Negative 2.4 divided by negative 8 equals 0 0.3. Same signs, positive. 84 divided by negative 12 equals negative 7. Different signs, negative. 52 divided by 13 equals 4. Same signs, positive.